It is usually used in lever and fulcrum principle. Who lands elevator? It is held in palm and thumb grasp. Primarily used as wedged principle. Apso elevator. It is a paired instrument. It is held in palm and thumb grasp. It is used for removal of fractured root tips or apices. It is primarily used as wedged principle. Criers elevator. It is a paired instrument. It is held in palm and thumb grasp. Primarily used as wheel and axle principle. It is used for extraction of maxillary teeth. It is useful when one of the roots have been removed. The elevator is used through the socket of that root to remove other roots. Crossbar elevator. Also known as Winter's crossbar. It is a paired instrument. If one is used as distal on right side, it can be used as mesial on left side and vice versa. It is held in palm and thumb grasp. Primarily used as wheel and axle principle. It is used for extraction of mandibular teeth. It is useful when one of the roots have been removed. The elevator is used through the socket of that root to remove other roots. Warwick James Elevator Paired instrument for right and left side. Curved and straight varieties are available. It is usually used for third molar extraction. Elevator's revision. Perio STEAL elevator. Straight elevator. Kulans elevator. Apxo elevators. Criers Elevators Crossbar Elevators Warwick James Elevators Extraction Forceps An extraction forceps consists of three parts Beak Hinge And Handle Forceps Grasp Maxillary forceps are held in a palm-up grasp Mandibular forceps are held in a palm-down grasp. One must remember the forceps should always engage the root of the tooth to be removed not the crown. They should adapt well to the surface of the root or at least have a two-point contact between the forceps beak and the root. One should be careful not to crush their finger when using a forceps. Maxillary forceps. Maxillary anterior forceps. It is used for the extraction of maxillary anterior teeth. This forceps is completely straight. Maxillary premolar forceps. It is used for the extraction of maxillary premolars. It is slightly curved. It is held so that the concave part of the handle rests on the palm. Maxillary molar forceps. It is used for maxillary molars. It is a paired instrument, one for left and one for right side. It has a pointed end on one beak which engages the buccal fur cation area. This determines the side of the forceps. 
The other beak is smooth and slightly curved to engage the palatal root. Maxillary cow horn forceps. It is used for maxillary molars. It is a paired instrument, one for left and one for right side. It is especially used for extraction of grossly decayed teeth, which cannot be gripped by maxillary molar forceps. There is a single conical beak which engages the buccal fur cation area. This determines the side of the forceps. The other beak has two prongs which engage the palatal root. Maxillary third molar forceps. It is designed keeping in mind that maxillary third molars often have fused and bulbous roots. The beaks are rounded. The handle is sharply bent to facilitate better reach. Maxillary root forceps or bayonet forceps. It is used for extraction of root stumps. The beaks are tapered and tips meet to get better grip over root stumps. Mandibular forceps. Mandibular anterior forceps. It is used for the extraction of mandibular anterior teeth and sometimes for root stumps. In this forceps the beaks are smooth and come in contact. Mandibular premolar forceps. It is used for the extraction of mandibular premolars. It is much similar to anterior forceps but beaks do not come in contact. Mandibular molar forceps. It is used for the extraction of mandibular molars. In this both the beaks have a sharp projection which engages the fur cation area. Unlike the maxillary counterpart this is a single instrument which can be used for both sides. Mandibular cow horn forceps. It is also a single instrument for both sides. It is used in case of grossly decayed teeth. Forceps revision. Maxillary forceps. Anterior forceps. Premolar forceps. Molar forceps. Cow horn forceps. Third molar forceps. Bayonet or root forceps. Mandibular forceps.
anterior forceps, premolar forceps, molar forceps, cow horn forceps. We have to properly support the jaws and alveolus during the extraction procedure. For this we use a tripod support using three fingers. Support for maxillary teeth. Support for mandibular teeth. Patient chair positions for standing extractions. For maxillary teeth extractions the chair should be raised so that the patient's head is slightly below the operator's shoulder. Chair should also be slightly reclined so that the patient's maxilla is 45 degrees to the floor. For mandibular teeth extractions, the chair should be lowered such that the patient's head is slightly below the operator's elbow. Chair should also be kept upright so that the patient's mandible is parallel to the floor. Operator positions for the extraction of teeth in the lower right or the fourth quadrant. The operator stand behind the patient at 11 o'clock position. For extraction of teeth in all the other quadrants, the operator stands in front of the patient. Accessory instruments. After extraction of a teeth, some accessory procedures may be necessary to ensure proper post-operative healing of the extraction area. Bard Parker handle or BP handle and Bard Parker blade or BP blade is used for placing incisions. In minor oral surgery, usually number 11, 12 or 15 blades are used. Hurette is a double-sided instrument. It is used for removing any periapical pathologies like cysts or granulomas. Bone file it is a double-sided instrument. One side has a flat end and the other side has a curved surface. There are surface serrations which point backwards. It is used to smooth hand any sharp bony projections after extraction. It is also used during alveoloplasty procedures. Rounger. It is used for removing larger or harder sharp bony projections. It comes as side cutting and end cutting variants. Used during extractions and alveoloplasties. Tissue holding forceps. It is used to grasp tissue during minor oral surgeries and suturing. It comes in two variants. Tooth tissue holding forceps. Non-tooth tissue holding forceps. Used for holding delicate tissues. Suturing instruments. Consists of needle holder and scissor. Needle holder is identified by crisscross striations on the inside. It is a latched instrument. It is held with thumb and ring finger, with middle finger for support and forefinger for direction.